Hello, my name is Michael Picard. I'm a philosopher and philosopher practitioner in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. I teach philosophy around here, primarily at Douglas College, but also at Simon Fraser University and other local institutions. Since this conference is in India, I also want to mention that here at Douglas College for many years now, I have taught Asian philosophy, and I am a great admirer of Indian philosophy, a longtime general India file. So it is a genuine pleasure to be invited to speak at this conference. Thank you. Besides philosophy, I've taught sustainability, cognitive science, and psychology. I got a master's and PhD in philosophy at Massachusetts Institute of Technology in Boston, working under George Bulos, Richard Cartwright, and Bob Stallnecker. My dissertation was on the foundations of mathematics on Russell and Poincaré. Back then, I took a few courses at Harvard as well, where I was also a graduate teaching assistant, not only in philosophy, but also in history of science. At MIT, I was strongly influenced by Thomas Kuhn, who taught there then. I maintain a website for my philosophical practice at www.philosophical-coaching.com. I'm also a longtime animator of Cafe Philosophy, which I hosted weekly in Victoria, Canada for over 12 years, for a total of about 540 sessions in that city. I have since continued to facilitate public participatory philosophy with Simon Fraser University's award-winning Philosopher's Cafe program. But these days I am promoting a new form of cafe philosophy I call Philosophy Sports, and which you can find out about at www.philosophy-sports.com. I'm also an author. My first book was This Is Not a Book, which did fairly well in five or six languages. But my latest book is forthcoming in April 2022 with Hamilton Books, an imprint of Roman and Littlefield in the United States. It's called How to Play Philosophy, a book for public thinking and the thinking public. It's a collection of essays and screeds I wrote for Cafe Philosophy participants, originally sent out by email to prime their thinking in advance of sessions. How to Play Philosophy is a fun, but I hope challenging and sober book. I hope you'll check it out. It's available for pre-order now at roman.com. Another book expected out this year, and I feel very good about this, is a collection of papers I edited on the theory and practice of cafe philosophy, with many excellent contributions from cafe practitioners, participants, and critics. This is, I think, the first book in English to delve into the theoretical underpinnings of cafe philosophy and of public participatory philosophy generally. The book is called Cafe Conversations, Democracy and Dialogue in Public Spaces. The publisher is Anvil Press here in Vancouver, Canada. It is also available for pre-order now. Let me take a minute to outline that book's contents, as I think it'll be of great interest to many of you here. Authors include the original founder of Cafe Philosophy, Marc Sauté. I translated a few chapters of his book, Un Café pour Socrate. Uh, Daniel Ramirez, one of the people who took over as animator after Sauté died in 1998. Miriam Van Ragen, Albert Hoffman, Tetsuyo Kono, you probably know that excellent Japanese philosopher who has been very active in uh, cafe philosophy there. Carmen Zavala, who since 1998 has been running Project Red Owl, uh, Buho Roja. Eli Pirokokos, a Greek philosopher who contributed a wonderful paper on Foucault and the care of the soul. And also there are other philosophers from Belgium and Mexico, some local Canadian philosophers who've been involved with SFU's extensive Philosopher's Cafe program, including most notably its founder, Josef Wask, who gives a remarkably poetic capstone piece, but also a detailed account of the thriving community learning program that he founded now 24 years ago. Lydia Meir also wrote an excellent historical chapter for the book, and two American philosophers contributed, Christopher Phillips of Socrates Cafe fame and Anthony Simon Layden, a prominent political philosopher whose ideas influenced my philosophy sports. Lastly, I brought in Walter Cohen and Barbara Weber, two renowned philosophers working in philosophy for children, P4C, which is a field parallel to cafe philosophy, facing many of the same obstacles, but far more advanced theoretically. As I said, Anvil Press's 
Cafe Conversation is the first book in English, I, I think, to treat cafe philosophy theoretically. Finally, besides curating and editing Cafe Conversations, I wrote three of its chapters. One, a history on the 12 years of cafe philosophy in Victoria, Canada. Another on the serious problems that arose with cafe philosophy as philosophy. And third, being the first thorough presentation of philosophy sports. At this conference in India, I'm reporting on the app that has also been newly built to play philosophy sports in cafes and classrooms. So that's my summary of Anvil Press's forthcoming book, Cafe Conversations. I hope you'll check it out. There is now one final item I need to mention if I am to introduce myself and what I am doing for philosophical praxis. I am under contract to translate two books from the German by Gerd Achenbach, who I met in Mexico in 2018 at the 15th ICPP. These two books are Philosophical Praxis, which just may appear late in 2022, and On Right in Wrong, which will probably only be out in 2023. It's a great honor and great pleasure to be working closely with Achenbach, who is reviewing all of my translations. Needless to say, these will be the first books of his to appear in English translation, so please don't miss them. They need to be in your university library. Part of that project as well, uh, Lou Marinoff has invited me to edit a special issue of the American Journal of Philosophical Practice, featuring my translations prepared specially for the journal of several other important Achenbach papers and that work is well underway. So thank you for taking the time to listen to this video. I hope to meet you all at the conference soon. Thank you again.